If you're coming to Perth and you're on a bit of a budget, don't worry, we've got you covered because in this video, we'll be giving you seven things to do for free. So sit back and enjoy this short guide to Perth. Fremantle, or Frio as it's known locally, the hipster capital of Perth, a place known for its easy-going, laid-back vibe, with the market being the centre of attention. It's a place you can't miss out on with food from all over the world, and also a great place for trinkets and souvenirs. So whilst you're here, just relax and take in the atmosphere. It's fast becoming one of our favourite spots in the city. Now, on to our next location. This is the Western Australia Shipwrecks Museum, also located in Fremantle. You can go in completely free or pay a small donation. Originally built to store food in the early Swan River colony, it is now home to many artifacts from the first European encounters. Elizabeth Keys is a great place to walk around and enjoy the atmosphere of the inner city. There are plenty of cafes and bars to choose from that surround the water, making it a great spot for daytime coffees or evening cocktails. You can also book tours from here to Rottnest Island. It's even home to some wildlife. We sat down and watched this bird drying his wings after a good morning's fishing. From here, you can take a walk along the Swan River. It's hard to believe you are still in the city as it's hardly ever busy with crowds here. It's a great route for a jog or a bike ride or just to simply sit back and watch the boats go up or down the river on their daily routines. So what kind of emotion are you expressing in this? Sunshine. Love, yeah, and adventure. It's a, it's a straight line. Wow. I love it. So we're now on Harrison Island. I think that's what it's called. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, there's supposed to be kangaroos here somewhere and we're just on the hunt for them now. So it's just a small little island that's just nestled between the Swan River. So there should be some kangaroos around here somewhere. Yeah, 10 minutes in <laughs> and we've still seen no kangaroos. No room. It's a beautiful park though, look. So you've got like city views there. Just on the other side there is the um, Swan Bridge. I don't know what it's called actually, but it's the it's the cool bridge anyway that goes over the Swan River by the Upton Stadium. Um, is there a kangaroo in there? I know. I nearly thought it was, but it was a bird like hopping. Oh. <laughs> I feel like they will be in the bushes up. So it looks like we've had no luck finding a kangaroo, but um, yeah, add this to your list of three things to do. There are supposed to be kangaroos here somewhere it might not be the time of year because i looked on a video from may and there was some here so maybe it's too cold yeah i don't know weird but anyway still something free for you to do so nice head park, down anyway but when the weather's better and the kangaroos are out it's probably yeah a lot more enjoyable but yeah nice views the birds are pretty cool and all around just a nice little park yeah lovely well it's a bit gray today though but it is nice. Oh my god, we just, just found right at the end, right at the entrance. Ah! We've searched all around the island and he was at the very start. Oh. I actually saw two people over here and I was yeah. wondering what they were doing. Hello! We literally didn't even need to walk that far. This is actually one of the biggest inner city parks in the world. 
and I'd say it's probably one of the best things we've done for free in Perth because you get views of the whole entire city from up here. It is just absolutely stunning and you could like literally spend a whole evening here if you were to have a picnic or something, couldn't you? Yeah, it would look lovely in the night time. We could do the little the lights. Yeah, we could do, yeah. yeah. Really so cool. lucky enough, yeah, now we're here and it's winter time, they're doing a light show, so we might be able to get to see that in the night time. But yeah, it's really clean. It's really good. We've had a good day out.